All right, just a couple of things before I get too far into the um, uh, spreadsheet part. Okay, so first of all, see how I scratched this out? This is why you want to one-line things. I'm glad this is a digital pen, so I can do that. You absolutely want to keep this because it tells you why you're ignoring this. And then while we're just looking at the before, I probably should have labeled this and after. Okay. So um, the other thing is, you see how messy this is? This is what I should see. I should see like all these like weird scratch out kind of, you know, these should be one line. It, it, this is a work in progress. This is not like finished product. All right, and the last thing is let's do a double check, double check something. The thing I was looking for, did I solve for it? I know that seems silly, but sometimes people solve for crazy stuff. Yes, I solve for the mass of Archer. Um, so, and I also should have defined this as mass of Archer. Okay, mass of car, velocity before crash. And actually that's probably a little bit easier because you can tell that this is velocity of before. So I would have said velocity before, velocity after, but you can kind of see that here as long as you indicate V is velocity somewhere. Um, so also, then the thing that you measure and assume need to be the only letters in here, uh, aside from like pi, which represents a number if you were using that, which we're not. Uh, so only things you can measure and like mathematical symbol kind of things like plus, minus, divide, radical sign, uh, like squared, things like that. So mass of the car. We got mass of the car, mass of the car, that's good. We got V prime. We can measure, figure that out. Yep. V, absolutely. Uh, mass of the car. Yep, you're good. So this is good to go for a spreadsheet. And let's go ahead and look at that. So this is what I set up for a spreadsheet. Notice this, and I'm going to maybe show more about this in another video. Um, so this has, I've got three tabs at the bottom. I've got the velocity before the crash. And I'm not going to really do much with this right now. Uh, I know that I'll need another column. Uh, this would be the displacement. I'll get into that in another video. Then velocity after the crash. If you want to see why I added an extra column, watch the video on this. If you don't need to, that's fine. Okay. And there's different ways to find velocity. Like in GTA, you can look at the speedometer. I'm just doing this for the example I did. And notice I put velocity prime right here. That's the velocity after the crash. So we're going to look at mass of Archer. Um, let me see. Make something, make life easier. All right, I just moved a picture. I would have this in a notebook normally, but I want you to be able to see it. So um, I just took a picture just for y'all's reference. All right, so I'm going to start off with the blue ones, the ones that you can actually measure. I will write this as mass of the car. And then this is super important. In parentheses, I'm going to put kilograms. All right, I'm going to hit tab. All right, and... This is going to be the oops velocity before the jump. And you know what? I need to change the names of these. Crash doesn't really make sense. He jumps. So velocity before the jump, that's going to be in meters per second. Tab again. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to copy this one. See? If I go over here, see how it says before? I'm just going to put... And you know what? I'm going to copy that because, real quick, let me show you how to change the names of your tabs. Rename. So just click here. See, and that one's after. I just copied and pasted that. All right, so I'm going to go back to Mass of Archer. Okay, see how this, oh, yeah, and then we're going to find Mass of Archer in kilograms. And that looks horrible. So this is what you can do. Just highlight it. I clicked on the one. I think I've shown you all this before. And hit wrap. And I like to get a little bit fancier. Center it. Hit bold. 
And why not? Just in case I get lots of information, I could go view, freeze, one row. You don't have to do that part. It's just good because if you scroll, see, you can just scroll through it. So anyway, mass of the car, even though it's not going to change, I'm just going to leave it. Um, so mass of the car, kilograms, yep. Velocity before, velocity after. Okay, so this is how I do it. I enter equal. You can look at it up here, and you can see it in this. And I am going to click on mass of the car. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do open parentheses. And open parentheses again, because I would have like a parentheses here around this chunk, and then a parentheses around the top part. And I'm going to click on mass of the car. Then this is super important. Most of your errors will be because you forget the asterisk. That means multiply. All right. And that's just shift eight. And it's multiplied by V, v prime velocity after. I'm going to close that parentheses. Now we're going to subtract mass of the car. Oh, wait, nope. Sorry. We're going to divide velocity after. I mean before, see, V on the bottom, velocity before, and I'm going to close parentheses. Now I'm going to subtract the mass of the car. See how this says div zero, error function divide parameter cannot be zero? That's because this velocity right here has no value yet. All right, that's how you would do your spreadsheet. Now if you have to reference other sheets on the same spreadsheet, like other tabs, let me show you how to do that. Velocity before the jump. I'm going to put equals. And see right here, I'm going to click there. All right, velocity after jump equals. That's your velocity after. And those will have values in it. I'm going to put that in a different uh, video. But this is all you need for Monday. I need to have uploaded.